Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML-TV, channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own Mr. Eric M. Lima. Hello, thank you, Mr. Announcer, and yes, welcome to another episode of WEML TV Channel 77, which is my channel handle. I am the proprietor and host and owner of this channel on YouTube known as Eric Lima. What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone is having a have, I hope everyone had a great day. Uh, as you have saw the last few episodes, I have uh, reported on uh, Monday Night Raw, did a roading on episode, and played some little tic tac toe. But now we're going to conclude this day, um, J uh, July 20th, 2021, 10 27 p.m. As you know, Tuesday is about to come to a close in less than two hours. So. Let's get right to it, and tomorrow we'll be halfway through the week. I'm really excited. So here we go. Weekend's coming up. It's going to be really, really insane, to say the least. And uh, we're going to kick off Monday night. Monday night, Rob. We're going to kick off Tuesday night. It's NXT. I you forget, and, and i got to clean up. You know, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I had to straighten out my hair. My hair was a little bit out of control. One of these days, I won't get it cut. But other than that, it looks good. We're ready to go. I was talking to NXT Event Center for July the 20th, 2021. And it, took, it started off with Samoa Joe. Ever since Samoa Joe comes comes out, it looks like every NXT superstar was trying to try to try the guy. And who tried him more times than anybody else? Karrion Cross. And as you as you know, Karrion Cross has not been probably not in a good mood since uh, uh, since losing to Jeff Hardy um, last night on Raw. But, but since ever, um, but ever since Cross took out Samoa Joe with us, with the cross jacket sleeper hold, and it seems to me that Samoa Joe wants wants a piece of him. He's calling out um, Karrion Cross, and William Regal tried to be the voice of reason, said you can't be calling out superstars, and he said no, no, no. The agreement is when unless unless provoked, it's certainly provoked. But he said Karrion Cross is on his way here tonight, but it will. But it will end peacefully. He says, fine. We'll do it your way. But you know what? I can't guarantee it. So he ends up walking away. Then Zaya Lee cuts a, pro um, cuts a promo on Raquel Gonzalez. How this is her finally her opportunity. And he says, what she did to Mercedes Martinez will happen to Mercedes Raquel Gonzalez. And if she, def she, if she defeats Raquel Gonzalez, she'll be the first ever Chinese NXT champion. NXT Women's Champion in the WWE. And then... There's the Diamond Mine team of Roderick Strong and Tyler Rust went up against uh, Bobby Fish and Kushida. The two teams brawled. And in the end, Bobby Fish, man, how much fish could Bobby Fish fry? If Bobby Fish could fry fish, man, make that shirt again, Riddle. I'm telling you. So anyways, Kushida and Bobby Fish picked up a victory over the Diamond Mine. So, over the, over the Diamond Mine, which I think was pretty hilarious. Uh... So, it seems like Malcolm Bivens needs to be fired as manager of the Diamond Mine already. Might I digress. Now, on Twitter earlier um, at the CWC, Cameron Grimes was driving L.A. Knight uh, to the arena, gets his bags. Drake Maverick wanted to go help him, and then Cameron Grimes like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. And, uh, so, you know, don't listen to him. And he, he goes, go ahead and uh, do it, right? In LA night, he's like, "Oh, you gonna bring an idiot to work there or something like that?" And you know, I'm just trying to help him. No, no, he doesn't need your help. He doesn't need anybody's help. He says, "It'll be you and me, um, one on one." And I mean, Drake Maverick was cool with that. So that was uh, later on in the, in the night. Odyssey Jones um, talked about the break uh, breakout tournament promo, and uh, opening he beats Andre Chase in the match tonight. So Joe decided to wake, still wait for Karrion Cross. Frankie Monet went one-on-one -on -one with the newcomer J.C. Jane. Monet picked up the victory. But here's the interesting situation. Mandy Rose is, 
was there sitting on top of the announcer ta announcer's table. Robert Stone came in late. Jessica Mayer was with her. So, very interesting elements to say the least. Then, uh, Mackenzie Mitchell interviewed Johnny Gargano, Austin Theory. And then Kyle O'Reilly interrupts and said, Hey, you were talking tr smack about me. How about you and me in a match tonight? Austin Theory says, Fine. And Johnny Gargano says, Austin, you're on your own. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, my hair's still a mess. So, you know, keep it clean here. Uh, Wade Barrett interviewed Bronson Reed, and Bronson Reed says, I'm going to try to bounce back, and the best way to do it is go after one of the best NXT competitors and Adam Cole, baby. So, next week. But the next two weeks, NXT, because of the Olympics, NXT will be invading sci-fi. So, they'll be on sci-fi. I believe it's Channel 62 here in New Bedford, if I'm not mistaken. So, everybody's making jokes, bring the zombies and everything else. And, uh, and then let me know zombies, but I'll tell you one thing. There's going to be people end up going to be end up like zombies if they're not careful. That's for sure. Uh, anyways, uh, so the next two weeks, NXT will end up being on Sci-Fi with already two matches on the card. In fact, he said they said Monster said next week he'll face Adam Cole on NXT on Sci-Fi. So it'll be a whole lot of fun there. Like back in the day, here we go again, right? So Kyle O'Reilly went one on one with Austin Theory. It was a great scientific matchup. But Kyle O'Reilly did win in the end by submission, and uh, there we go. Uh, did win in the end by submission, but couldn't. But has that Ken Shamrock uh, mindset of not letting go of the hold. So there we go. So, uh, so Mackenzie Mitchell interviewed uh, Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai about the tonight's women's time, title match against Zia Lee. and they were determined. Uh, Raquel, uh, Raquel Gonzalez is determined to beat. Zia Lee. And then they had this, uh, now, LD, the Legato del Fantasma was trying to copy Hit Row, but as Santos Escobar says, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I changed my mind. That's fine, we don't want to hear the mariachi band, you know? Because you're, try, you're trying to copy, you know, yeah, sure, whatever. So anyways, he was talking about how he's gonna be the North American champion. Hit Row comes out, interrupts both teams, brawl, to the point where Joaquin Wild got a guitar to the back. It's going to be something else. And, and every sign with Hit Row, which is really cool. Hit Row's cool. I like Hit Row. Who better than Top Dollar? Not nada. I like that guy. Anyways, uh, now, after the um, Lost in Theory lost a matchup, Johnny Gargano lost his matchup against Cross. Uh, Indy Hartwell and Kenneth Ray lost the tag team titles. And. You know, it got to the point where the infighting, Austin Theory kind of walked out. So, and rumor has it, he did work a dark match on SmackDown, teaming with Harry Smith. That's what he's going to go by, uh, the British Bulldog, uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. He's going by his real name, Harry Smith, to take, and I forgot who, who they took. I think they took on Odyssey Jones and Zion Quinn, a.k.a. Daniel Vidot. So, uh... So maybe Austin Theory maybe going over to SmackDown and forming a team with Harry Smith. That would be an interesting team to say the least. So Samoa Joe still waiting for Karrion Cross. Regal tries to once again speak from uh, uh, be a voice of reason. Samoa Joe says I can't can guarantee anything. So the NXT breakout tournament uh, matchup round one. Andre Chase, formerly known as Harlem Bravado, went up against. Odyssey Jones, and it was a good good matchup. Odyssey Jones did pick up the victory over Andre Chase. And M M Mackenzie Mitchell interviewed the ta MX NXT Tag Team Champions, MSK, and but about, about, about to hear what MSK stood for. They were basically interrupted by Imperium's Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner. It seems like Marcel Bartel and Eichner are aiming on after, going after the uh, the NXT Tag Team Champions, MSK. Rumor has it, it says must-see kids, and they are young kids, and they are must-see, you know. And Matt Riddle was tweet live-tweeting NXT saying, I'm going to want a team with them. Imagine this. MSK likes John Cena, Jeff Hardy, and Matt Riddle. Can we make a 10-man tag? You know what I mean? So Pete Dunne and Oni, Lor um, Oni Lorcan uh, cut a promo on Ciampa and Thatcher. That's going to be a fight. That's also happening next week on Sci-Fi. Uh, 
Dunn and Orny Norkin versus Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher. That's a fight that I would love. Love to see. Pay me good money to see that one. LA Knight went one-on-one -on -one with Drake Maverick, and Maverick did pick up the victory after a lot of goofiness uh, happened between him and uh, um, between LA Knight and Cameron Grimes. And then he forced Grimes to hit Maverick. And Drake Ma and I'm like, he didn't want to do it. Like, he doesn't mind doing all the stuff the butler do a butler does, but punching people in the face, that's not in Cameron Grimes. Cameron Grimes respects Drake Maverick. All right, I'm, I'm going to say, I would if I was a butler for LA Knight, I said, dude, listen. The reason why I'm your butler is because I lost the match to you. I'll clean your dishes. I will make your food. I will, you know, vacuum your carpets and everything, uh, everything else in between. But I am not going to interfere in your matches for you. I am not going to hit people that you hate because I don't hate them. And if you make me hit one more person, I'm going to hit you. That's what Kevin Grimes should have said to freaking LA Knight. Anyways, you know, because being a butler, punching people in the face was not part of the job, L.A. Knight, dummy, yeah. What a dork. Anyways, so, uh, Joe almost attacked a driver that looked like Carrying Cross, uh, but he was the driver of Carrying Cross's car. He said, he told me to park the car. He's already inside. So they had the NXT uh, championship matchup, women's championship matchup between Raquel Gonzalez and Zia Lee. Zia Lee took it right to Raquel Gonzalez. God respect Zia Lee. I was hoping she would walk up, but but also Zia Lee did work another dark match on SmackDown against Aaliyah. I think I said this, and Zia Lee won. So, but then Raquel Gonzalez did pick up the victory over Zia Lee after Zia Lee made a mistake. So, Joe Ka uh, then was Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez walk out. Joe calls out Karrion Cross. But then Cross responds, and then Regal was laid out. And so that ends that. Samoa Joe tried to come and stop stop Cross, but then all of a sudden, he was too late, and he got upset. You know, William Regal should have known that Cross was going to do this. The mind games by carrying Cross, man. And I'll tell you one thing right now. If I were Regal, if I recovered from that, i say, Joe, you got your match. NXT title on the line. Take over. Yeah, NXT TakeOver 36 will happen the Sunday after uh, after Sunday night after SummerSlam. That's right, SummerSlam. This year's on a Saturday, which is pretty, pretty cool. I don't mind it at all. It'll be great. So that is all the time we have on the show for the NXT Event Center for, J for July the 20th, 2021. Uh, and I'm tired. That's why I'm stumbling on my words a little bit, so... It is time for me to get some shut eye here after I upload this video. All right. Mm -mm. So I will bid you adieu. Good night. And I will see you later on the next episode 395 of WEML TV Channel 77. Until that, that day comes. Tomorrow is Whammy Mania Wednesday. That means I'll be playing Press Your Luck once again. The 80s version and the, and the today's and today's version as well. Not only that, we'll see. All right, I'll see you later. I'll probably do another rodent, um, rodent up, ep uh, rodent up ep episode maybe. Hmm. We'll see. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Sleep tight. Peace, love, bless out.